Hello and welcome. I am Harish, and in this channel, I talk about various ways in which you can build pretty much anything from a website to a mobile app without writing a single line of code. And in this series, we are looking at a tool called Typebot.io, which lets you create conversational apps that can be embedded pretty much anywhere, be it a Notion page or your website or your WordPress blog or even as a link that you can send across to people in WhatsApp or any other medium or format or an email. In this video, we are going to look at how to create a basic conversational app where you are collecting users' information and then giving them access to something that you want them to take only after giving you their information, right? Let's quickly jump in and see what this example is about. All right, in this example, we are going to assume that I have created an ebook or I have a course running, right? You can apply this to your use case as well. And I want people to sign up first to get access to this. I don't want them to pay but I want their information so that I can reach out to them in the future. And once they give me their information, personal details like name, email, and then they'll get access to the PDF or the course video link or the Zoom invite link, right? This can be applicable to many use cases. I'm just gonna quickly pick one and uh, show you how to build it. So once you have an account on typebot.io, this is the dashboard where you will see that there's a create ty a typebot button. Clicking on that will ask you for three options, start from scratch, template and import file. I'm gonna do scratch because we want to understand how this tool works. Right, so there is a start block and the first step is to ask the user for their name and email and once they enter those details, we'll show them a unique link, right? It can be a video, it can be a PDF, it can be a uh, Zoom link that they can join the meeting that you are organizing or a workshop that you are doing, whatever, right? Whatever use case you have, this is how it's gonna work, right? This is a very basic example. We'll get into complex examples as we go through in this series in the future. But for this video, let's start uh, with uh, collecting the user's information. To collect any information, let's quickly start with asking the user to give them their name, right? And once that is done, I'm gonna say input text here, right? Here, we'll say enter your full name. This is the placeholder in the form field that is shown to the user. And then we'll store this in user underscore name variable. Variables are pieces of information where you can send or store data, right? And then retrieve them at a later stage. So we are collecting username here. Let us duplicate this and also collect their email address. Remember always to have the conversation like a, as, as human as possible so that it doesn't look like a bot is typing out uh, this information to the user. Always helps give your users a better experience when they are talking to a bot. Right now we have asked for where can I email you. There, as you can see on the left, there are multiple inputs. So if you want any other piece of information, you can always use any of these information pieces, right? Input types. Now this is email. I'm just going to do email and here the placeholder is good enough for us. If the email is wrong, this information is shown. If the email is correct, we are going to store it in a variable called user underscore email, right? Now, once that is done, let us link the start block to this group. And uh, these two are mandatory information that are getting collected. I'm going to rename this to email and I'm going to rename this to name. Now, the next step is to check if the user has entered their email and name, right? For that, what we'll do is in the logic section, you will see that there are, there are different types of options available. We'll pick, quickly pick the condition bot, condition block and see if user has entered email, right? Add a comparison here, user email, user name is set, which means name is given and user email is also set, right? If these both are set, then do something. Otherwise do show an error, right? Now I'm gonna link the email block to this block right here. And then let us create another block where we are giving the user a link to the YouTube video that they will get access to only after giving their name and email, right? Let's say you have a private unlisted link that you want to give to the users. I'm gonna quickly copy your link from my YouTube channel. Let's say I have an unlisted video that I want only a consumer to see. If they're giving me their email address, I'm gonna go back and here you can embed the video directly here, right? You can also embed a PDF. You can also embed a website. So let's say you want to link the customer to Zoom, you can do so. Let's see how this works now. Let's click on preview. And uh, let's say I'm going to give my name as H and that's it. That actually embeds the video. looks like YouTube doesn't work here in this case. What you can do is you can also give a link, right? Uh, let me quickly show you how to update that and uh, we'll see how it works. So instead of a video, I'm going to say, thank you, user underscore name. That's how you insert variables inside Typebot. 
and then you can say here is your access to the course and i'm going to link the whole thing to the youtube video that i want to share right this can be the pdf or the zoom link as well as i mentioned i'm going to remove this because it looks like youtube embed is not working in the tool yet also remember that this tool is an active development so many of these options may change in the future or new ones may get added right so once this is done let's quickly preview and see if this works right my name is h and then my email is hrk.com that's it once i click on this it opens up the video in a new tab right so that's how you build a basic bot where you're collecting users information and then giving access uh, to certain information that you want to share with your users only when they give you their information right now once you're done building you click on publish and this will give you your unique link you can also customize the link to a much more readable link and then share the link itself wherever you want or you can embed it in using any of these tools right you can embed it in notion you can embed it in a website that you're building on using react if you're coding you can also embed it as an iframe or in your shopify store or wordpress website or blog or a wix website or even a webflow website if you're embedding right that's how you build a simple conversational bot and now if you want to look at how this works you can simply open the url and uh, let's see how the bot looks so the bot still works with just the url i want to say harish as my name and email as hfk.com and once i send it should give me the video link right video link works and if you go back to your type bot and go to results page this is where you will see all the information that is getting stored right so that's how you also see what the information is that the users are entering and build your own database right here and you can also export that into a csv and import it into your crm slowly we'll see how to auto send this data to a external website or google sheets or airtable depending on which use case you have but this is a basic example of how to build a conversation app and collect information from users and then give access to them to what you want them to see it can be a pdf or it can be a video course it can be a newsletter link it can be anything else right if you've learned something new from this video consider subscribing to the channel and drop a like to this video below and also the link to sign up to tybot is in the description below see you in another one peace